welcome to Storytime Snippets with Palatine Library. I'm Miss Glenda and I am ready to start with our welcome song to say hello to all my friends. Will you help me out today? All right, we're going to go with the more we get together, the happier we'll be because your friends are my friends. Let's do it all together. Here we go. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Thank you so much for helping me out with that. Well, today in our story time, we're going to be celebrating Chinese New Year. Sometimes it's known as the Spring Festival or the Lunar New Year. And I'd like to start by teaching you how to say hello in Mandarin. Ni hao. You ready to do some waving and say hello? Let's wave and say ni hao. Let's wave and say ni hao. Let's say hello to all our friends. Let's wave and say ni hao. Let's do that again. Let's wave and say ni hao. Let's wave and say ni hao. Let's say hello to all our friends. Let's wave and say ni hao. All right, we're going to begin with our, our book, Maisie's Chinese New Year. Here's our story for today. It's called Maisie's Chinese New Year by Lucy Cousins. Let's open it up and find our story. It starts right here. Tomorrow is Chinese New Year. Maisie sweeps and tidies the house to get it ready. Then Maisie visits a market to buy food, decorations, and a new red outfit. Red is a lucky color. What red things can you see? There's lots of red things, isn't there? I see some red clothes and some red lanterns here. There's some red flags and a red hat. Someone's carrying a red gift there too. All kinds of red things. At home, Maisie waits for her guests. Who's that knocking at the door? It's Tiger. She has come to celebrate. Hooray! Tallulah, Charlie and Cyril arrive next. Welcome, Tiger, they all say. Hello. Happy New Year. They all look happy to see each other, don't they? Tiger has brought lots of presents to wish everyone happiness and good luck. He has something for all his friends. They all sit at the table to eat a delicious feast. There are so many things to try. Who yum yum, says Charlie. That does look like a feast. All kinds of good things to eat there. After dinner, Ostrich and Penguin come to visit. They give everyone lucky red packets with money inside. Thank you, says Maisie. Maisie and her friends sit to listen to Tiger tell an exciting Chinese New Year story. A long, long time ago, 12 animals raced across a great river, she begins. Here are all the 12 animals that raced across the river. The rat won the race, but we celebrate every animal in turn. And this makes up the 12 year Chinese zodiac, Tiger explains. In this year, 2021, it is the year of the ox. So each year an animal gets their year. At midnight, fireworks light up the sky to welcome the new year. Ooh, they do look pretty, don't they? The next day, Maisie takes part in a spectacular parade with loud music and dancing. That sounds like fun. I like to dance. 
Finally, Maisie leads her friends in a special dragon dance for good luck. Happy New Year, Maisie. Happy New Year, everyone, she says. The end. All right, let's pop that down. I'm going to do a little song now, a little or a little rhyme with a scarf. So if you have something you can shake, a scarf or a towel or a sock or a t-shirt, anything you can shake, um, join me with our little rhyme. All right, here I am. I found a red scarf. All right, ready? Dragon, dragon, dance around. You make your scarf dance around? Dragon, dragon, touch the ground all the way down. Dragon, dragon, shake your head. Dragon, dragon, tongue so red. <gasps> dragon, dragon, stamp your feet. Dragon, dragon, coming down the street. All right, we pretend this is our dragon. Ready? Dragon, dragon, dance around. Dragon, dragon, touch the ground. Dragon, dragon, shake your head. Dragon, dragon, tongue so red. Dragon, dragon, stamp your feet. Dragon, dragon, coming down the street. All right, thank you for helping me out with that. I have another little rhyme for us before it's time to say goodbye. So we're going to use our hands for this. So we're going to start with five and then we're going to dance away. You know, roll your hands around like this. Ready to help me out? Oh, and we get to roar too. Have a practice. Ready? Roar. That's it. That's it. I like to roar too. That's fun, isn't it? All right. So five red dragons making such a roar. Roar. One danced away and then there were four. Four red dragons dancing round a tree. One danced away and then there were three. Three red dragons dancing round you. One danced away and then there were two. Two red dragons dancing in the sun. One danced away and then there was one. One red dragon having lots of fun. She danced away and then there was none. Zero. No more dragons. All right. I would like to say, Shay Shay, thank you for joining me today. It's time to say goodbye. Can you put your hands together? Story time is over now. Over now. Over now. Story time is over now. Now it's time to play. Thank you again, Shay Shay, for joining me and I hope to see you soon. Bye bye for now.